What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4. And I might have clickbaited you just a little bit, but it is true. There are actually some balance changes coming to Mirror 4. How do I know this? Well guys, I like to take a look at the Korean patch notes. They tend to get major updates on our off weeks. Our off week was like what we just had this past week. You know, we tend to get a... I would say a big update, but they haven't really been big lately. So I'll just say update every two weeks. And on those off weeks in between, the Korean servers are usually getting an update. So we like to look at the Korean server patch notes because they tend to pull that stuff over. And here's the other interesting thing is stuff from the Korean servers do not come to us in the same order they came to in Korea. They really just pick and choose what they're going to do. Um, some things we tend to get fairly quick. Um, such as the auto tickets in Magic Square and Secret Peak. Uh, I think we got those within weeks of them coming out in Korea. So it's very interesting. We also sometimes get some things before Korea, such as Mystical Pieces. We got that before Korea got it. And Krukin. We got Krukin before Korea. So it's very interesting how they do the updates with the game and try to maintain balance on both the global and Korean versions. But today I want to talk about what is changing or what changed this past week in the Korean version of the game to kind of rebalance the characters. Now, I'm going to go ahead and preface this by saying that this is mostly a PvE rebalancing. Uh, we'll read through it and see if maybe, you know, there's a little bit more to it. But let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Major updates. It's kind of hard to understand because of the... Um, please note, this is translated from Korean, so some of this is a little bit hard to understand because the translations are not great. So certain jobs are judged to have high performance compared to other jobs. Arbalest. And um, so jobs with the relatively low performance are adjusted upwards. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, basically every class is getting some kind of adjustment except the Arbalist. So not necessarily Arbalist nerf, but they are trying to bring other classes in line with the Arbalist from a more PvE perspective so that they can keep up with leveling and things like that. So uh, the brief description here and compensate for this for warriors so they can perform their jobs well as main tanks. I really hope this turns out to be like this. Um, because I, I don't really prefer being an Arbor tank. I'd rather have a tank actually be able to tank the, you know, the content. Uh, and the part related to the sustaining power of battle has been increased. Due to long skill casting times and difficult to hit skills, the mages are, uh, combat, their combat effectiveness is lowered. So, rel related parts have been adjusted upwards. And while the swordsman relatively uh, essential role in party play, this is actually, I believe, the Taust. Uh, the monster killing part is weak compared to other professionals in solo play, so it will be upgraded to compensate for this. And then Samurai, which is Lancer, is strong in terms of combat, but is lacking in monster hunting, will be upgraded to compensate for this. That's awesome. This is awesome, awesome news. So let's actually look at the details here. Warrior. As the main tank, warriors are upgraded to improve their sustain in battle, such as adding HP recovery effects and defense related buffs, removing effects that increase damage taken by them so that they can stay on stay on the battlefield for a longer period of time. In addition, by reducing the cooldown of the Iron Changeman, the ability to take control of the battle has been strengthened. Okay, so that's so they can keep the uh, aggro better. Um, and the attack range of Lion's Hue, I don't know which move this is, you have to, guys will have to look at the picture to understand. Improved to improve, uh, improved to improve hunting efficiency. So here you go, this move right here, I don't know what these skills are in the global version. In addition to the skill's basic hitting range, Add a weak hit to the wide range. So this is basically expanding the mobs that get hit. Kind of helps you with pulling in aggro. Then counterattack, instant HP recovery effect added. So at 8 star, it gets 10%. 10 stars, 20%. So you don't actually get, you don't really get this until the epic skill. Then Iron Mill, this is reduced from 48 seconds to 40. Not a huge difference, but I mean, it's an improvement. Uh, reverse blood clotting. <laughs> I don't know which move this is. Remove the effect of increasing damage received. Okay, so I'm guessing this. I don't know which move this is, but it increased your damage taken. This that part has been removed. Um, Tybo added a personal buff that increases the physical defense and critical avoidance when using skills. So you get a, a woo, pretty, you know, at, at epic. You're getting a, a physical defense increase and crit evade, crit evade increase for six seconds. It's not a very long time, but you know, every little bit helps. Either way, it's on the positive end. It gets even bigger at Legendary. Alright, Mages. Woo! Alright, here we go. Four move changes. 
It's saying that they specialize in performing wide area attacks on multiple enemies. In the PvP area, the skill that are somewhat less effective due to the casting time will be improved. There you go. And so this is actually some PvP improvement. And will be upgraded to further highlight the strengths of the main dealer in the wide area. So, uh, this this is the lightning thing. Uh, I think this is chain lightning, right? And then this is uh, the lightning that strikes down. Um, Alright, let's see. Before change, Chris, multiple strikes at random locations between you and the enemy. Alright, so it's more random. Now it's going to create a large lightning bolt at the enemy's location, increasing the damage when hitting the center. Wow. So it's going to be more of a direct hit and can do more damage. That's, that's interesting. Um, then increase on the chain lightning. We're increasing it from six hits to seven hits. That'll help in both, I guess, a little bit of PVE and maybe some, maybe some, you know, the wars PVP where you got a lot of enemies. Uh, damage decreases as the number of hit objects increases. I think that pretty much is how it worked before, but I guess it's going to be a little bit more spread out. Um, Salt Beach. I don't know what move this is off the top of my head. Uh, cooldown went from 30, 50 seconds to 45 seconds. You can do it a little bit faster. And then uh, Frost. Uh, what is this? Ice Block. Change the movement speed reduction effect to occur when creating an ice shield. Uh, so before, when the ice shield is destroyed, there is a chance of frostbite effect on the chilled target. Um, so, uh, oh, so they'll be slowed. After change, when creating an ice shield, there is a chance of frostbite on the chilled target, adding damage when the creating the ice shield and reducing damage when destroying. No change in total damage. Okay, I'm not <laughs> I don't 100% understand that, but hopefully you guys do. Now, Taust. Um, again, they're saying that uh, monster hunting speed is slow and the skill range is short on the PvP part. Um, so the attack range of some skills increased to compensate for this. So they increased the range and damage radius of this. Um, increased The range increased on this move. <laughs> it was translated to Goofy. Uh, and then Tai Chi, in addition to the basic skills, hitting range, add a weak hit to the wide range. So this is kind of helping, um, again, in PvE to kind of spread out, pull more mobs in. Um, then Lancer, they say, you know, very well balanced in PvP, which is very true. Very strong PvP class. Um, I, you know, I'd venture to say probably one of the basically the top PvP. Um, however, in the monster hunting part, the attack range of some skills increase is increased to compensate for the lack of narrative. So all they're really doing here is straight PvE. Let's increase the, the range where these moves um, hit. That will allow you to pull in more mobs. If you're AFK hunting, it's just going to allow you to gain more XP. So, there you go, guys. Not really, no direct nerf or change to Arbalist, but they are kind of improving all of the other classes. Um, so, I know a lot of people were asking, hey, you know, Arbalist needs a nerf, yada, yada. But hopefully, this just helps you guys understand, like, you know, they are taking feedback and I honestly I didn't picture any adjustments being made but so this is kind of pretty big I, I would say from my point of view um, pretty big in terms of you know a step forward and knowing that they're open to doing these things and that you know it, it, it takes people always really you know have a problem when you nerf something so this is generally the path that developers take to go ahead and increase uh, the, everything else which effectively nurse what people were crying about in the first place. And I don't want to say crying. I don't. I really didn't make make them negative. I mean, I understand a lot of people um, felt like Arbalest overpowered. I feel like in general, there is definitely a good balance in the classes. Um, I do think Arbalest has the strongest PVE and XP potential in terms of leveling. So I think this does these changes help quite, you know a decent amount in the other classes trying to keep up with leveling with the Arbalest. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I don't know when we're going to get this change. Probably in the next, I would say probably in the next two patches or so. Um, maybe something they're looking at. They'll probably have it out on Korea for a little bit. Unless they see some some numbers. Or something. I don't know. They might want some more data on this before bringing it over. Um, so it could be you know a little bit longer than that. But hopefully not too long before we get these changes. And um, that'll help some folks appreciate the game a little bit better. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. I'll catch you in the next video.